Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another daily vlog. My name is Jess and I do vlog every single day over here on my YouTube channel. I would love to have you join in on today's video. Definitely hit that subscribe button if you're new and that way I just show up in your feed and you don't have to go searching for me. Um, it's Sunday morning for us if you are new. Um, my husband is a pastor so he leaves several hours before we leave for Sunday. Getting stuff ready, all the stuff he has to do. So he's already gone. Me and the kids are now getting ready for church and it's always chaotic. I don't know what it is about Sunday morning, but it is always chaotic. So I just, I know I'm going to be like handling food mostly today. We have a grow group, like a small group after church. Um, all the campuses do it and have, they have different meetings and stuff. And so some people do it in the afternoon, some people do it in the evening, but we do ours right after church. And so for the most part, I'm going to be handling all of that today. So I just put my hair up, which I don't normally wear like my hair up for church, but and my head, my hair, my hair can't talk. My hair sheds. So if I'm handling food, my hair's always up. Um, and I have on jeans, this black, like it's kind of like a short dress or like a long tunic. And then I have this cozy sweater thing on because it's going to be in the fifties all day. I am so excited about it. I am pumped about the cooler weather we're getting. I don't think it's getting out of the sixties all day, but it's going to be mostly in the fifties. So it's a very cozy morning. It's been raining. It's kind of dreary. Um, Nate has been up since 5 a.m. again, and I've pretty much been up since 5 a.m. as well, so I'm feeling pretty tired. I did stop by McDonald's yesterday because they had a thing on their app for a 99 cent any size iced coffee. So I did the same thing I did yesterday. I got a large iced coffee, no ice, no creamer, no sugar, just black, plain. The lady was like, you don't even want ice. I'm like, no. <laughs> and then I stuck it in my fridge and then I made me and David both a very large iced coffee out of it. By the time you add ice and a little bit of milk and some sugar-free syrup, it is more than enough for like two large iced coffees for 99 cents. So it's like my favorite hack ever. I'm using my Taylor Swift cup that we had last night. It's really good. So drinking that, I got myself ready, but now it's time to get the kids ready, which is always fun. <laughs> I'm going to do that. And then I will show you guys, I'll carry you guys with me for showing you how the grow group turns out, how the food turns out. We're doing Mexican. I'm kind of worried because I think a lot of people are sick or out of town or something like everybody keeps telling us, oh, I'm not going to be there on Sunday. I'm not going to be there on Sunday. So I'm not really sure how many people we're going to have, <laughs> but whatever we do have, it'll be great. I am bringing homemade salsa, sopapilla cheesecake bars. I'm bringing frozen taquitos to cook there and cheese dip and chips. This time, if you saw yesterday's video, the cheese dip spilled all in the car. So this time I'm just going to mix it up at the church and let it, not even take the risk of it spilling. Um, it'll have plenty of time to get warm in the crock pot at church. So Anyway, lots to do today. Everybody is kind of dragging, like I said, the rain and the dreariness has just made us all kind of lazy this morning, but I need to get everybody in the car and head that way. So you guys come spend a day with me. We're going to go to church. The good news is since we are having grow group after church, we'll get done around two-ish, um, probably by the time we clean up and all that. And we won't have anything else tonight because there's no church. Uh, grow group kind of takes the place of Sunday night church. So I need to go to the grocery store. We have zero, zero cereal bars in this house. That never happens. I never run out of cereal bars. They're a staple for Nate. There was none. <laughs> he didn't get one for breakfast. Um, we also have like this much milk and we're out of produce. So I'll be definitely doing a store run later on today, but y'all come spend a Sunday with us. Let's get going. You guys, it's been a crazy morning. Just came to the bathroom to talk to you because it's loud. Um, I got everything set up. I walked into church, got was getting the coffee set up, and I spilled an entire bottle of creamer in the floor. So that was beautiful. Didn't take too long to clean up. Thankfully, we've got hard floors, hardwood floors. So got it all cleaned up. And then um, I've got my cheese dip warming up. I folded bulletins. Um, 
organized some stuff in the kitchen so we should be good to go and all the serving stuff ready and I'm just waiting for people to get here give me their dishes and then I'll probably sneak out with Nate a little bit before church is over to just make sure everything's warmed up I still have to cook the taquitos I want to do those fresh they only have to bake for like 10 minutes just to get hot um, and then a few people are bringing, they told me to bring enchiladas or something like that. So we'll have to heat them up closer to church time just to warm, you know, make sure they're kind of warm, but it's going okay. I don't know why I keep spilling everything. It's a problem. Like I am so clumsy. It just like, basically it knocked, got knocked off of the bar. It hit the floor, the cap busted off of it. And so of course coffee creamer is super sticky. So anyway. Um, we'll see you guys back in a little bit. I'll check in with you guys and show you guys how the food turns out. I'm hoping we have a good turnout. I don't know. There's nobody here yet besides our team. And it's like right at 10. Our service starts at 1030. So I'm hoping people trickle in. It's rainy and dreary outside, kind of cold. And um, I know some people are out of town, like I said, and some people are sick. So we're just going to see. Hopefully we have a good turnout. But they're doing sound check in there. That's why I don't know if you can hear the music, but anyways. Okay, guys. So I'm here with some of our friends at church, and they wanted to be in the vlog. So <laughs> do you want to say your names? Aubrey and Chloe. And their moms watch. So yeah. shout out, shout out to the moms. Shout out moms. <laughs> shout out moms. Love you. All right, you guys. We're done with worship. I'm glad that we were leaving right after worship because. Um, and David was ready for to take over. He has like a little iPad that he can control the slides with. So I told him because I'm going to be getting ready for this dinner, I'm going to need you to do that like right after worship. But Nate stood up in the sound booth and said, I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> so we had to, we had to leave anyway. So I am just get. I came in here. Oh, I came in here to get some Capri signs for the kids to put out. I've got the taquitos in the oven. I need to warm up. There's some, um, dips I need to warm up and some, like enchiladas I need to warm up. So I'll show you guys. We had a lot of stuff. I'll show you guys when it all, we have lots of dips, lots of dips. So I'll show you guys when we get it all set up. This is our supply closet. Okay, you guys, we're back home. I'm so sorry. I did not show y'all much at church. I was going to show you guys all the food, but then church got out and everybody started eating and I was like, well, forget it. Um, we had really great time. Was worried that we weren't going to have a lot of people there today, but we actually had a really good crowd. Um, if we had had all the people who were out, sick, recovering from surgery, out of town, we would have had a like probably our record number. Um, we had a lot of people stay for the grow group, and it was delicious. We had enchiladas and taquitos and burritos, and uh, there somebody brought like a soup. Um, all kinds of different dips and desserts and it was a really good time and then we came home it's after three now we've been home for probably close to an hour um my boys all three of my boys are in the bed in our bed uh cuddling they're so cute so I was gonna lay down with them but there's no room so instead of a nap I'm gonna make myself a coffee and just sit in here in the living room and read a little bit um Sorry, my phone's beeping. Um, I want to go to the store later. We need, like I said, we need groceries. But um, I need to take a little break before I do that because I am tired. I've been on my feet all day. And I need to just rest. Even if I'm not asleep resting, I'm just reading or whatever, just chilling. So I've got a mess in here, <laughs> stuff out. But that's okay. Um, making myself an iced latte. I wish I had gotten another iced coffee at McDonald's on the way home, but I didn't. This is good too, making a shot of espresso and mixing that with a little bit of water, making like an iced Americano. It's good too, but I don't know. The McDonald's iced coffee has been like hitting the spot. So I'm just going to drink that. I don't know why I'm on like a big iced coffee kick and it's like the weather that you should be drinking warm coffee, <laughs> but I don't know. Like I go through phases with it. Sometimes I like it hot. Sometimes I like it iced. I'm going through this big iced latte, iced coffee phase. Um, but anyway, it was a great, great day, but I'm glad that we have the rest of the evening to just chill. Probably need to make a grocery list before, um, Make like some sort of meal plan and grocery list before I go to the store, but 
I don't know, lately I just have not been meal planning that much. I've been buying just our normal, between HelloFresh, that's three meals. And then um, I always have stuff for tacos. I always have stuff for chicken sandwiches. I always have stuff for grilled cheese. Like usually there's a couple nights a week we're doing something at the church or, you know, we're doing something that, that we have to eat out or whatever. Um, but probably good if I just planned a few extra meals just so we have that, all the stuff we need and we don't have to go out. So anyway, I'm just going to sit down and read for a little bit with my little lap girl here, Layla. She's happy to see us home because she's been home by herself all day. and She's very sad. She's like, where have y'all been? We got to the church before 9 a.m. Or no, it was like right at 9 a.m. When we got to church, we didn't leave till after 2. She's like, that's too long. That's too long. Mommy's home now. We'll see you guys back later. All right, you guys, I'm still on the garage. But it is super sunny all of a sudden, so I thought it would be easier just to talk to you before I backed out. But it is like a little after four, and I decided just to go ahead and go to the store so I can just relax the rest of the night. Um, most everything I'm going to get at Aldi, but there's a couple things that I'm going to have to go to a couple other stores. First of all, I'm trying to find more skinny syrups. We're down to this much of one bottle. And David uses it for his coffee. I use it occasionally for my coffee. And if I do iced coffee, I always use it. I like black hot coffee, but I really like to have iced coffee sweet. But anyway, um, I looked the last few times at TJ Maxx and Home Goods, and I haven't been able to find the skinny syrups. So I'm going to go there today. It's been a little while, at least a week since I've been. So I thought maybe they would have some in. Um, then I'm going to go to Aldi. And then I'll probably hit Kroger on the way home. Um, David is out of canned drinks. Do I have my phone? Yeah, I've got to run back in and get my phone. <laughs> uh, I was going to look on the app and see if Kroger had any canned drinks on sale. I don't remember seeing that that on sale, but... Um, usually that's the cheapest place to get it. So when I get home, I'll show you guys everything I get. I, I did plan out a few meals, um, trying to like eat a little bit healthier. So, um, we're going to do like a Big Mac salad one night. I've made that before and we really liked it. And I always forget about that. It's like a, it's like a Big Mac, but on a salad, <laughs> obviously by the name. And then um, I'm going to get some tilapia. I know not everybody likes tilapia or like thinks it's like the best thing or whatever, but I really like it. And it's something that David and I both like where he's not big into fish, but he does like that. So I thought that'd be good. And then um, we're going to do chicken tacos one night. And I like to do that wrapped in lettuce. And those are really good. You just get ground chicken. If that's how I do it. I get ground chicken and then season it with taco seasoning. It's really good. So we're going to get all the stuff for that. I'd also like to pre-cook some chicken and have it in the freezer. So I have some big packs of chicken that I want to cook this week. So that's kind of the plan. And then kids need snacks for school. We need produce and fruit and all this stuff. So let me run in and get my phone that I almost forgot. And I will see you guys when I get back home. Hey guys, I'm back home and I'm definitely going to show you the haul. But I'm going to stick all of these drinks out here in the garage fridge. So I thought I'd show you real quick. They had buy two, get two free. So it ended up being $8 for one. So $16 and I got two free. So $16 for all four, which makes them about $4 each. Or it does make them $4 each. So not too bad. So I got three Dr. Pepper Zero Cherry. That's David's favorite. And then I also got some Coke Zero just in case you wanted something different. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this and the two gallons of milk out in the fridge. All right, you guys, here we are. We're back. I'm back from the store. I did go into TJ Maxx and they had one sugar-free syrup and Home Goods also had the same thing. Now, I've never seen this brand. I can't even pronounce this brand. Pew de Previsto. And it's vanilla sugar-free syrup. It's actually a really big bottle. It was only $4.99, which I thought was a good deal. But this is all they had. So I got it. We'll see how it is. Um, and then I have Kroger stuff and Aldi stuff. 
So I showed you guys the drinks already. The other stuff I got at Kroger, uh, they have the party size Doritos 349. So I got two of those. I got some more of the sweet tango apples on sale for $1.29 a pound. Um, they had the strawberries on sale at Kroger, just a little bit cheaper than Aldi. And then they had these canned soups for 99 cents. David likes to take these to lunch for lunch at work. So I got him, if it'll focus. Can I have one of these on my Dumba Daddy? Okay. Um, hearty chicken and rotini. Lasagna style soup. Creamy tomato with penne. And I got two of these uh, creamy tomato basil because I know he likes these. Mm -hmm. And then I was going to buy some jello because we really like having that. Um, and it was so expensive. So I just thought, let me get some box jello. So we'll have to make it. I got cherry and lime. I love lime jello. You do? Yeah. I got some bananas and then I got some reduced fat Mexican style cheese. I think that's everything from Kroger. I feel like there was other stuff, but I guess that was it. Oh, this sugar-free G Hughes Honey Dijon dressing. I just thought I would try it. I really like some of the G Hughes' stuff, and it looked interesting. So we'll see how it is. And then I also got some dill pickle spears. All right. At Aldi, I got two bags of oh gosh, two bags of broccoli florets. Two bags of um, green beans. I got some ground chicken and some ground beef. I got some tilapia. I got two boxes of macaroni and cheese for Nate. We were out of graham crackers, so I got another box of those. And then for school snacks, we have Nate's favorite, the mini alphabet cookies. I also got more of these birthday cake, animal cookies, and I got some veggie straws, some cheese and breadsticks. Um, Lucy's never tried the blueberry pastries crisp, but I thought we could try these. And then I got two boxes of cherry cereal bars. They did not have the mixed berry, which is everyone's favorite, but they also got some Colby Jack cheese, some American cheese, four containers of um, key lime yogurt, more coffee, some cottage cheese, I showed you all that, tomatoes, bread, extra toasty cheese crackers, two bags of shredded lettuce, and then some romaine, some peppers, and some cucumbers. And I think, I want to say that's everything. So, anyway, here it all is. We're going to put it all away now. Okay, guys. So, we got... Everybody fed. Me and David just have leftovers from today. Um, the kids had random stuff. And I got a quick bath. It was very relaxing. I listened to this sermon while I was taking a bath, which is kind of weird, but um, it was by Holly Furtick and it was the God of Answers. I can't even tell you how much I needed to hear that sermon. It was so good. If you're not even a churchy person, I would recommend listening to it. She's very, if you never listened to Holly Furtick, she's very practical. Anyone can listen to her and you will get something out of it. Like you don't have to know churchy terminology or it's so good. If you've struggled before with wanting to know the answers, why, what happened? Why did I go through this? God, do you see me? I feel invisible. Why aren't my prayers getting answered? Are you there? Are you there? <laughs> Are you there? Um, like if you've ever struggled with any of that, highly would recommend. I'm going to like watch it again. It was that good. It was so timely for me. And I didn't even realize how much I needed to hear it. Is I struggle with like, why do I have to go through the things I have to go through? And why, you know, has this been hard? And God, do you see me here? And, you know, is your hand really in this? And it was just really good. And I really like practical teaching. I mean, I, lo I love so many different types of, of sermons. I listen to a lot of different ones, both in person at church, but also I listen to a lot of podcasts and YouTube videos and stuff like that. Um, but the practical stuff is just when you're really struggling and you 
you know, people tell you, well, just don't fear, you know, or um, you're struggling with the answers. Well, you don't need to know. <laughs> you know, And they just tell you these blanket statements and you're like, no, but literally what do I do? And to have like people tell you what the word of God says for you to do and, and things that you can practically do that is going to help your day-to-day life, your day-to-day walk, your family, your finances. I just really love practical teaching and she's one of the best communicators, I think. So I will link that message that I'm just talking about. I will link it down below and I I seriously think I'm going to watch it through again. But anyway, we just got the kids to bed and I am very tired. I've been up since 5 a.m. And I feel every single second of that. My feet hurt so bad. I've been on my feet all day. I sat down for like 30 minutes with that coffee this afternoon. And then I just was like, there's no point. I need to just go to the store. So um, I'm going to sleep good. I hope. (laughs) I really hope. Uh, We're going to watch Big Brother real quick before we go to bed. So I will talk to you guys about Big Brother tomorrow if you care. I'm kind of at the point now where I don't even care what happens, honestly. I don't even know who I like anymore. Cameron's gone. I really liked Cameron and I feel like everybody else is just okay. And I'm just not sure. So we'll see what happens tonight. I'm um, sorry if I'm blurry. I feel like I look blurry, but thank you guys for hanging out with us today. It was a very good day. It was super good. Um, it's always good when you have a good turnout at church and people want to stay for the grow groups and stuff. We're just now starting this grow group at our church. This is only our second one. Um, last semester we went to the main campus for grow groups. So it's very exciting that our campus now is having them and we're having such a great response to them because, and it's even bigger than the topic we're talking about. So I don't think I told you this, but we watch like a, everybody in the whole church watches a video and then there's like discussion questions and that's good, but even more so just getting to talk to people one-on-one and, and visit and get to know people better. It was very good. And today I was doing attendance. I don't think I told you all this. I was doing attendance and I'm still struggling with names. The people who come every single week, I know their names, but there's a lot of people who, you know, don't come every week. They come here and there, they're, you know, have stuff going on or they're out of town or whatever. And so they don't come super regularly. And I struggle so hard with their names, but doing the attendance was actually really helpful um, because I had to like, I don't know, something about seeing a face, seeing the name written down. Um, so some of the, some of the girls were helping me with the names and that really helped. Like I'm very, uh, like I have to do something to remember it. That's why Facebook Facebook really helps me learning people's names because I'm putting the name, I'm looking at their picture on Facebook. I see their face. I have to like accept them, like just that action enough that, or just checking a little mark on an attendance sheet. She really helps me in terms of remembering names. Um, so it was actually really good, but it was a little bit stressful because I'm like, Oh gosh, I am not going to go ask them what their name is. Like I've met them several times now. It'd be awkward. Um, but we got it all figured out. (laughs) Uh, but anyway, it was really good to kind of get to talk to people and, um, hang out and all of that. So anyway, that is going to be it for today's video. If you like the blog, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Definitely subscribe if you're new. We'll see y'all tomorrow.